Scores of protesters march onto private land and towards a construction site off in the distance. These Native Americans, environmentalists, and activists call themselves water protectors. And you will give it back! They've come to North Dakota to try to keep oil from flowing through a pipeline that's already buried underground here. We are fierce warriors and we are going to protect our land. We're going to continue protecting our water. For months, protesters, now numbering in the thousands, have been camped out near the Dakota Access Pipeline, a mostly completed project that runs near the Standing Rock Indian Reservation and way too close for those now living here. We got to protect our water. It's important for all of us. These people have been oppressed long enough, and it's time to bring that to attention. The pipeline would send crude oil some 1,900 kilometers east from North Dakota to a shipping point in Illinois. The Cannonball River and the much larger Missouri River, which runs nearby, provide the water for this area and will be directly impacted, protesters say, if oil begins flowing through the pipeline. Energy Transfer Partners, the company behind this nearly $4 billion investment, would not comment for this story. It claims the pipeline is the safest and most cost-effective way of moving oil but opponents call the project reckless. If you damage the water and land, you can't go to another planet and bring it here. Right. You have to take care of what's here. Put that sign down. <laughs> These protest actions have turned rowdy, even violent at times. During this one, construction equipment was vandalized and the tires on some police vehicles were slashed. Do not resist! Knock me down! Hundreds of arrests have taken place since this environmental standoff began. They can't decide where uh, they just want to do impromptu protests um, when it's on private property. That, that doesn't make any sense. The U.S. government has put a temporary hold on a portion of the project. The pipeline was originally set to be completed by the end of this year. Opponents say they have a much longer time horizon. We took care of Mother Earth for over 500 years and we will continue to do so. You know, however long it takes. Tell me how justice is being served right now. This very determined group wants the spirits to hear their voices and prayers. Although they retreated here, protesters insist they're not going anywhere. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Cannonball, North Dakota.